Well, President Trump announcing that he will donate $1 million of his personal funds to help the victims of Hurricane Harvey. This is tens of thousands of people are now calling shelters their temporary homes. Former Fox 8 employee, current reporter in Texas, Kaylee Cunningham, joining us live now from Beaumont, Texas. We're on FaceTime. If the audio is a little choppy here and there, that's just because of the Internet. Kaylee, uh, we saw pictures today, especially, I think, of the nursing. Was it the nursing home or hospital in your area that was being evacuated? There's actually a nursing home yesterday in Port Arthur, which is about 20 minutes away from us, that was evacuated yesterday. One of our reporters actually helped get some of the people out of there. There was about a foot of water, and it was just continuing to rise. And then today they had to evacuate one of the hospitals near us because we haven't had water since about 2 o'clock this morning in the entire city of Beaumont. So they decided to evacuate some of the people in that hospital. Kaylee, what have these last few days been like down there? Um, I know just, that's a loaded question. There's so much going on right now and you're covering so yeah. much. But for you, I mean, having been up here for a while, seeing this and getting that firsthand experience, I'm sure it's overwhelming. Yeah, it's kind of a few of us talked about today here at the station kind of said it feels like almost the apocalypse because we can't get out of Beaumont. All of the freeways are shut down to Houston, north of us, everywhere. Um, they're struggling to bring in groceries to the grocery stores. And now a lot of people had no power the last couple of days. And now the entire city has no water. And we don't know when that water will be restored. So it's kind of just like we're sitting waiting. You're hoping there's enough bottled water for everyone. You're hoping that people can get health care. I mean, it's definitely, it's it's frightening, some of the things that we've seen the last couple of days. Yeah, Beaumont's been taking the brunt of this um, yesterday and today as well. So, Kaylee, are you seeing uh, State Guard troops, National Guard troops, um, those folks moving into your area and evacuations yeah. as well? Um, we've seen helicopter-wise, they've had U.S. Navy, Coast Guard, everyone's been in, and we've seen a lot more over today because the weather finally cleared up and there's some sun, so they were able to fly around a little bit more and do some more rescues. But... I was spending a lot of the day yesterday answering phones and let me tell you it's very scary when people call and tell you that they're trapped in their house and they try to call 911 to get rescued and they can't get through to 911. I'm sure you, you feel helpless yeah. at that point you're getting those phone calls and you, you you want to do more and it's so hard for you uh, what does it seem like moving forward I mean I how how are things at this point in time? I mean as much as everyone has been saying, Texans truly, it seems like everyone sticks together. I mean, when we were at the food bank today where they were passing out cases of water and they had to ration it to only two cases per car, this guy pulled up with his boat and dropped off 50 or 60 cases of water. And he probably needs it just as much as anyone else if he lives here and doesn't have water, but he decided to help out other people. Good Diapers. Tell wipes everything. Well, you know how Northeast Ohio is because you were at the station and mm -hmm. you're from here. So we're all uh, pitching in to help. I'm sure mom and dad are watching and I know <laughs> we've been all checking in with you as well to make sure you're okay and anything you want to pass along to family tonight. Um, mom, I promise I'm safe. I know <laughs> she keeps asking keeps doubting, but I promise I'm okay. Um, I have no electricity and no water, obviously, at my apartment, so we're kind of all just hunkering down here at the station, eating peanut butter and jelly, because that's pretty much all we can do right now. We're thinking of you. Our thoughts Thanks. are absolutely with you and everyone else that's down there. I, they will pull through. It is a fact. They will. Kaylee Cunningham, thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. I appreciate it.